How's it going guys? My name's Andy and in this video I'm going to show you how to play the new Royal Blood single which is called I Only Live When I Love You. I'm going to show you how to play it on guitar and demo how it can be done on bass as well because it is basically the same. Uh, but I'm also going to first of all tell you details of this cool Royal Blood competition where you can win a signed Royal Blood poster, a signed How Did We Get So Dark CD, their first album Royal Blood on CD and vinyl, how Did We Get So Dark on Vinyl, and two other Royal Blood posters. To be in with a chance of winning all of that, you just need to answer one simple question and submit your answer to the top link that's in the description of this video. That will take you through to a page on my website and you will submit your answer to this simple question. What was the first band that Mike and Ben first played in? I'll give you a hint, the answer is not Royal Blood. If you leave your answer in the comments of this video, it won't count. You need to submit it to my website via the link in the description and we'll be announcing the winner next Friday, which is Black Friday. So best of luck to all you Royal Blood fans out there. Get your answer in and uh, let's check out how to play this awesome song, I Only Lie When I Love You. Let me show you a quick demo of what we're gonna be going for. <laughs> So to play this song correctly, whether you're on guitar or bass, you essentially need to be in drop D and then move everything half a step down. Now I've got a separate tutorial that I'll be releasing soon on how to tune your guitar half a step down, but um, let me show you what tuning we need for this video. The thickest string needs to be tuned to a C sharp. Now because this is quite low, my tuner's gonna be quite animated now, but that one needs to be a C sharp. The next string needs to be a G sharp. The D string, string four on our guitars, needs to be a C sharp. The third string needs to be an F sharp. And that would be exactly the same notes that we would tune to on a regular four string bass because the thicker four strings on a guitar are the same as on a standard four st string bass. They should be tuned to the same notes. If you're on guitar, you can also tune the B string to an A sharp and then the thinnest E string to a D sharp just to keep everything the same so that if you improvise or all your standard chord shapes will work in this tuning. So that is the main riff that starts the song and plays throughout all of the verses. I'll be showing you how to play this on bass guitar as well. The quick links to all the sections are also in the description, as well as a link to the tab that you'll need to be able to follow this tutorial, which is totally for free. So we want to take our middle finger, whether you're on guitar or bass, and play the fifth fret of the string that is next to the thickest one. So this is the thickest string we're going to go for here. Play the fifth fret to the open. That can work really well if we play it with a down pick and then an up pick to do it quite quickly. We have a pause and then play open three five. So that was open three with the middle finger, slide to fifth also with the middle finger. Then finally, play 3rd fret on the string below the thickest one with your 1st finger and then it's the open string again to finish the riff. Let's have a walk through that from the top again. 5, 0, 0 and we slide with the middle so 3, 5, 3, 0 and then we mute. And that's the riff. 
You don't really have to pick that second note often if you've got some overdrive on your sound, like I do here. And that can work really well to try and get the speed up with this song. That would happen again, exactly the same. And then we have one of the coolest techniques, it's so easy to do as well, um, a slide along the thickest string. This is a real bass guitar technique that we can use on guitar as well. Uh, I would go from three to five, and then we're gonna go back down to three, so it's this. Okay? So we go from three, slide up, slide back down. The only thing that matters is the timing and keeping the pressure consistent throughout. It adds a real swagger to your playing, I highly recommend you check it out. We're then going to play a bar of the third fret, one and two and three and four and. Pause and then play seventh fret and two and three and four and. We just missed that first beat. So to finish off the verse, two and three and four and, and two and three and four and, and then play the normal riff again. So the verse in its entirety and riff one on guitar is three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. The notes on the third fret and then at the seventh fret, because we're in drop D, we can flatten off our first finger or middle finger. Play the thicker three strings and choose to play the power chord version if you wish. But let's check out how we can play that on a four string bass guitar now. So here we are for my first ever bass tutorial on my Andy Guitar channel, where we're looking at I Only Lie When I Love You by Royal Blood and the tuning that we need to be in. The thickest string needs to be to a C sharp, which hopefully you can see on my tuner there. We'll need a chromatic tuner to be able to do this. String three to a G sharp. String two to a C sharp. And the thinnest string to an F sharp which as I say is essentially drop D tuning but everything then taken, taken down half a step again. And here's the main riff. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, so that's five to zero. Zero again, three, five, three, and then zero. Two, three, four. So compared to a guitar which has six strings, bass guitars that have four strings are tuned to the same notes as the thickest four strings on a standard electric guitar. On an electric guitar, you'll see that those strings are wound, so they have wire going round the string, as opposed to the thinnest two strings, which are just bare wire. And those strings that are wound would be tuned to exactly the same notes as a bass guitar, so you can at least learn how to come up with a bass line or learn bass riffs to the songs that you know using that knowledge, using that knowledge of the thickest four strings essentially being the same. And then after that riff, we would then slide three to 10 again, but you can be a little loose with this. The important thing is keeping the pressure the same all along the neck. So just pressing down and not really hearing a start note or a, or a top note at all. Just, just doing a drag up and a drag back down and then third fret for a bar, seventh fret for a bar and then back to the riff. So from there it would be. I'm choosing to use the first two fingers to play most notes in this riff. You could use the third finger if that feels stronger and a bit more dominant, but it feels very comfortable, especially with all the sliding, to use the stronger first two fingers just for this particular riff. So just to give you a playthrough of the whole thing, the verse riff in total, two, three, four. Two, three, four. 
three, four. Two, three, four. Now let's have a look at how to play the chorus riff to this song. First of all on guitar, but then I'll show you how to do it on a bass. Let me give you a demo first of all. So we begin with the first finger at 5th fret of the thickest E string, which we will play twice. Then we slide down to 3rd fret, slide back up, 3, 5, like we've done before in the riff. 3 to 5, middle finger at 6th fret, and then back to 5. 5, 5, 3, slide, Middle finger to six, five. Really cool bit, we go from eighth fret, the string down, to the thickest string. A little bend down would make it sound cooler, but not too much. Open, open, three, five, five. That one more time to recap. Two, three, four. Then we have the same riff again. And then a new part where we go 10, 9, 8, 10. This bit's really cool. So 10, 10th fret, a string down. 9, 8, 10. And that would be a string down again. Down, up, down would be best with the picking hand and then bend down just to the pitch of the next fret. So it should sound like, but we're gonna do that with the bend. So bend down, unbend, and back. Okay. And if I go like this, you can hear it sounds, it sounds wrong, it sounds a bit silly. We just need to sound like that. Recap over that second line of the chorus. Remember the tab is in the link in the description. And then 10, nine, eight, 10, and then the bends from 11, and open. The third line of the chorus is exactly the same as the first line. So that would be two, three, four. And then the fourth line of the chorus begins with the same riff. But then it ends with this ascending note pattern that starts at fifth fret. Which is five, six, seven. And we play seven twice. Five, six, seven. Eight. Skip a fret and go to ten. 11, and then 11 twice. So in total, nice and slow, this chorus would go like this. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Second half of the chorus. Two, three, four. Three, four.
And of course, as before, those notes that we play on string six, uh, especially at the ending, we could build it up and play them as power chords. Which we can only do because we're in this tuning. And let's check out how that would be played on bass. The chorus riff on bass is as follows. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. So the structure of the song starts with that verse riff, then goes to the chorus, back to the verse riff. When we return to that chorus, in that second chorus, it is a short song, so it's pretty much the same again, but there are some variations, and here's what's different, and this would be from 2 minutes 19 in the song. We begin with the same riff as we've done before. <laughs> Here's where it changes. Five, four, three, five, four, three, seven, six. That was. Back to the normal riff. But then to 10th fret. And then a slight variation of the ending. And this repeats, so this is 7th fret, 8th fret, 10, 11. That happens twice. Third time through, seven, eight, eleven, fourteen, and then it's the same as the intro riff again as that verse riff, but we don't have the mute and therefore the whole thing just gets kind of a lot heavier. So the only difference is we're not muting each time. Previously the riff was. But we actually we cycle that. And rather than having that mute in the middle, just play the open string again. And to finish just the normal riff. Really cool, so let me show you exactly how that's done. Um, this is from around 2 minutes 19 in the song. Let's have a demo from there until the end, nice and slow so you can see what's happening and use the tab to help you from there. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. So from 2 minutes 19 in the song, we have the chorus riff again, but it has this variation. Same so far. Here's where it changes. 5, 4, 3, 7, 6. In context. Five, four, three. That one more time. Exactly the same but ending on a different note. 
And then five, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, ten, eleven. And that repeats. Repeats twice. And then seven, eight, eleven, fourteen. And then we play the main riff again, but with a slight variation. In that we're not, we don't have that space, um, so it's not, we're gonna play another note there. And just loop it, rather than, rather than having a space of a bar each time. And then the final bar of the song, is exactly how we'd learnt it before in the uh, original verse riff. So that was how to play I Only Lie When I Love You on guitar and bass. Remember that Royal Blood competition to win all the merch, uh, signed CDs and posters and things. That will close very soon, so make sure you get those entries in to that top link in the description. Remember, they won't count if they're just left in the comments. They need to be submitted to my website um, to be in with a chance of winning. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.